Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms 2. Today, we're trying to, um, fight some monster that keeps on attacking this town here in Hal's Village. Well, not really the town. It seems to be attacking the granary. You know, going after all the grain and all the food and everything here. Oh. Huh. That really, really reminds me a lot of Dragon Quest V. Oh, to the northeast. Whoa! Oh no! The monsters! What are we ever going to do? I like the music here, it's really creepy. Oh, wow. Loka's really taking charge here, isn't she? Oh, with your magic? Hey! Who's talking here? Like, Loka's saying it, but what's going on? Like, that's so we uh, This translation, it's just bad. I mean, there's really nothing else to say about it besides it just being bad and screwed up in every which way possible. Oh, Oliver. Really? Huh. You left the Trails in the Sky games to come here? Eh, I like it better than the Trails in the Sky games. One thing to notice as you're going through here, there are going to be some shooting stars and comets going on here um, in the background. Oliver Joy Juice? Seriously? Ugh. Like, he really is from Trails in the Sky, isn't he? I mean, I can totally see Oliver doing the same sort of, like, juice on some of the people that he happens to like, like Mueller and Joshua. <laughs> but anyway, the reason why that's kind of interesting is because um, we were reading that book the other day about how um, comets foretold, like, really bad things, pretty much, or they were, like, bad omens and everything. So, yeah, um, it's just interesting. By the way, um, whenever you're fighting his body, just use fire. If you want to go after his legs, then use freeze. But again, going after his legs only gets you a big berry, and I don't care about big berries. And it also increases your experience points, and I really don't want the experience, like, at all. Oh, well, took him out. Kind of a cool way to go, at least he didn't explode. Ooh, hey, gained a level. Nice! So now everybody thinks that the scenario is at level 3. Nobody has made it to level 4. Whew, there's a sigh of relief. Oh, hey! Um, we, you guys didn't do anything. She did everything. She's the one who uh, killed the guy. Yeah. Oh, well, we told you it was. Yeah. Who is talking here? Is this supposed to be Loka's sister? Her conscience? Her mind? <laughs> hey, V for victory, suckers! Yeah, you go, Loka. I like her. She's just so happy-go-lucky. She's sweet. Oh, how pretty! Oh, I guess that's Dawn. Oh, that's so pretty. They should have shown that sky more. Yeah, no problem at all. Oh, what is she asking for? Just some food or something? Oh. Oh, another teleport gem. Yeah, she uh, did misuse her other ones. She was trying to get to that Valeria house. Hopefully she can make it there now. Why would he come visit you? Screw you, kid. Ugh. Who the hell are you? I'm never going to see you again. And away we go. Okay, this part, I have no clue what they're talking about. His shoelace becomes untied, and then a black cat comes across? Like, I don't get it. Is that for telling more bad luck? I actually went and I tried to look this up. I read that black hats are actually good luck in Japanese culture, but they're, I mean, obviously they're bad luck in American culture. As far as shoelaces coming untied, I couldn't find anything out about that. And I don't think that that's bad luck in American culture. I mean, I've lived here for my entire life, but <laughs> haven't heard that one yet. And what is this? I've been cursed if I accepted a bad lunch? What are they talking about? Like, it's just so weird. I don't know. Maybe somebody else who knows more about this stuff can inform me about the untied shoelaces and the black hat. It's just 
I don't know. Is it supposed to be good luck? Is it supposed to be bad luck? Who knows? But anyway, with that, we have finished up her scenario. Hey. Okay. Oh, what's this? Who's that? Oh, the comet again. What's going on? You know, this looks like the place that Rudy buried his father. What in the world is that? Like a nuclear explosion or something? Oh, is she a black mage? What the hell? What's that all about? Hmm. Maybe we'll find out later. Oh, town of Maria. Hey! That's where those, um, three kidnappers were from, remember? They said that they worked as laborers here in the town of Maria. So, yeah. What are these three brats doing? What's going on here? Wait, is that the kid that we rescued? Tony? Back in Ashley's scenario? Hmm. Oh, well, what's going on? Oh, it's Ashley! Hey! Yeah, who are you? Why are you in my room? Go away! Oh, you're the innkeeper. So he's staying in the inn. Marina. Huh. So, Ashley must be from the town of Maria as well. But then again, I mean, if he's from this town, why is he sleeping in the inn? You know, why doesn't he have his own house? He says he's confined to quarters. Where is your house? You're sleeping in this girl's inn? That's your quarters? You're, like, living in a hotel room? That's strange. You would think he would have his own house. But anyway, go over here, get a bullet load. And a response apple. Nice! By the way, as far as the response apples are concerned, I will be using those on Lilka. Um, yeah, I didn't last time, but it really doesn't matter. So, yeah. Hey there. Oh, hi. <laughs> what a bitch! This guy has friends? Whoa, what's your problem? He's like renting from you, he's living from you. Or he's living in a bakery. I thought that that was the inn. I'm so confused right now. <laughs> okay, so anyway, I guess he's dating the innkeeper's daughter or something, but, you know, she's hanging out in his room, and he's living in the upstairs of the inn with some woman who really doesn't like him. <laughs> I guess they're just renting out his upstairs rooms or something. Oh, so this little orphan guy, Tony, has some friends. Well, who do we have here? Vacant-looking boy. You a bit touched? Scott. Okay. Oh, well, no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy, his whole shtick is his, in my humble opinion, you know, it reminds me of um, that SNES game Magic Knight Ray Earth, where the little blue-haired girl would always go, according to my calculations. It's like, ugh, so annoying. Every single time that this Scott kid opens up his mouth, he has to go, In my humble opinion, and I just want to smack him. Ugh, he's damn annoying. Oh, what? Yeah, what do you want from me? I've already rescued from kidnappers. Like, seriously? You want something else from me? Ugh, there's three of you and one of me, and besides, I'm confined to quarters. I really can't help you right now, but actually, you want to. <laughs> Yeah, you need to go and catch a cat. Ugh. I hate kids and JRPGs. I hate them so much. Ugh. You shut up, Scott. I hate you. I just hate you. Ugh. I guess so. We can help find your stupid cat. I really don't want to, but... Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. Does it really matter about this cat? Yeah, they don't really bother to change this guy's dialogue or anything. Yeah, you have no honor at all. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna rescue the cat right now. I'll deal with that later. Here we have the magic shop, but Lilka isn't with us, so don't worry about it. I just figured I'd show it off. That's where you can create crest magic. Um, once Lilka joins. Here we have the arm shop, where we can go in and upgrade our arm, um, which could be very, very 
very handy, and I actually am. I'm going to upgrade my hit percentage a couple of times and my attack power one time for right now, but we'll be able to upgrade our arm more pretty damn shortly, actually, now that I think about it. Hey there. Oh. Oh. Okay. And then here we have the personal skill shop. This shop is the reason why I said not to move on to level 4, because of one very important skill. The mighty HP up skill. Every time that you gain a level, you're going to get extra HP, and it will add up into the realm of thousands, thousands more HP by the end of the game. It like doubles the amount of HP that you earn per level. It is insane! So you want to get everybody's um, HP up. Uh, basically, you want to get everybody's first personal skill points into HP up as soon as humanly possible. There's some other ones here that are pretty nice, like Restore HP, uh, Parameters, pretty good. Um, some of these other ones really just suck. Um, like, Res up sucks, Auto Guard sucks, FP up sucks, Convert HP sucks. Um, but, like, up physical attack is really nice, up physical defense, I heard it's bugged, and it only reduces physical, um, attacks by, like, 40 points, which really sucks, so, yeah, um, take that with a grain of salt. Up magical attack is very, very nice, up magical defense can come in very handy, and then the rest of these are just, um, status resistance stuff, which could come in handy, but that would be late game. Basically, for the most part, you want up HP, then you want to start going towards up physical attack for your attackers, up magic attack for your magic attackers, you want up parameter, you want, um, where is it, restore HP, like, th these are the main, main, main ones, and then you also want the up magical defense, up physical defense, eh, you could get it, it doesn't really matter, and then go for some status, uh, protection, but yeah. Um, basically, if you have any questions about personal skills, hey, let me know. I'll try to answer them as best as humanly possible. For the most part, just go for up HP. Like, it is imperative. Here, you can go ahead and purchase, um, various status, pre status preventing items if you want to. Also, weapons and armor for not only Ashley, but also Lilka and Brad. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and buy new stuff for Ashley. Here we go, buying some new weapons and armor. Sweet! And just move on with life. Let's see what else we got going on here. There's the inn. I don't want to go in there quite yet. That lady over there by the fountain just saves her game. Um, I'm doing all that saving stuff off screen. Uh huh. Huh. You don't say. Oh. Well, yeah. You, you snip? When you were young, you snipped? What, when you were young, you got circumcised? What the hell, translators? Did they just really, like, snip off his dialogue? Like, did he have more stuff to say? And then the translators were like, I really don't feel like translating this, so they just kind of snipped off the dialogue? That's really weird. <laughs> Let's see, anything over here? No, there's nothing. Whenever you're looking for treasure around in Wild Arms 2, it's either in one of two places, either in a treasure chest or in a barrel. It's never going to be on shelves or anyplace else. It's always, like, in towns, going to be in barrels. So, yeah. Oh. Did they snip your dialogue, too? Ugh, who knows. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty receptive for an old geezer. I guess he's perceptive enough to realize that he's old and boring. Oh. Well, who's really, you know, looking out for him? Who's really watching him? Oh. Little cats in here. Ooh, get a gimmel coin. Nice! Once we catch that cat, it'll end up there in that, um, house with its little friends. Hey there, lady. Oh. Oh. You want to go up to the second floor with me? Seriously? Do you have an ulterior motive, maybe? Anyway, there we get a 10-gallon hat. Very nice piece of equipment. Awesome. And go on down here. Anything in here? I don't think so, but let me ask this guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, I already know that. Yeah, well, I've already talked about that. Oh, well, thanks. Easier to use it in this game than it is in Wild Arms 3. Yeah, I'm not exactly a huge fan of Wild Arms 3. Um, just FYI. Oh, I 
wouldn't think so. He was born and raised there. He should know his way around. Yeah, Wild Arms 3, like, I, I just feel like the battle system is slow. It's just very slow. The search system bugs the crap out of me. But honestly, like, I have found myself literally falling asleep while playing Wild Arms 3. Because the battle system is just so slow, and the random encounters are insane, and I really just, ugh. Like, I like the graphics, I like the cell shading that they did and everything, um, but as far as just the gameplay of it all, I'm not exactly a fan. I'll probably do it, because a lot of you guys seem to like Wild Arms 3, but yeah, I, uh, it'll be torture. <laughs> But you guys do like seeing me suffer, so who knows? Hey there, what's going on? Oh, Portrait Lake Queen. Oh, look at that. Huh, you don't say. Oh, Slate on Liberation. Oh. Oh, you mean Brad Evans? Really? Oh. A war criminal? Why? What did he do? I don't know. Maybe we'll learn more about that whenever we meet up with Brad. Okay. So it looks like there's four main kingdoms in this world. Yeah. Oh. Huh. Well, I'll keep that in mind for later. Oh, the Sword Cathedral, sure. The Sword Matches. Huh. The Argetlon. Really? Wasn't the Argot Lom in Wild Arms 1? I think it was. I could be wrong, though. I mean, I've known to be wrong. Well, I know the Guardian Blade was! That, that, that much I do know. Okay, oh, okay, oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. So the Argot Lom is the Guardian Blade, and it's wielded by the Sword Magus. To vanquish demons? And you're not gonna say what the name means. That's just great. Oh. Oh! Huh. I wonder if that woman that we saw with the comments and everything during that weird little cutscene was the Sword Magus. I don't know. And by the way, is it pronounced Magus or just Sword Mage? I don't know. With, like, the two S's, it kind of creeps me out there. I'm not entirely sure. Really, the Earth is a living organism. Huh. That's interesting. Oh, foreign book. Well, you don't say. What if we can ever read that? Hmm. You know what? What if we do get more party members? You can put various party members in the lead of your party, and um, there will be times that like different dialogue would occur. So it wouldn't be that um, that much of a surprise to me if like. Maybe, um, one of our future party members could read that book? Yeah. Oh, a new special squad. Huh. But anyway, there we get a big berry. We'll be seeing lots more of those later on. And let's continue our exploration of the castle. There we are. There's not much more left to, uh, see here, so, yeah. Let's see what's down over here. Oh! Oh, I thought that was the door. <laughs> oh! This is, um, the little mercs that we went with over to the Withered Ruins. And our tanks and everything, while our trucks. Oh. Ooh, and I see some treasure over there. Oh, yeah, you're the guy who was passed out after you fell and broke your leg or whatever. Oh. Huh. You know, I wonder what is the technological level of Wild Arms 2. Because, you know, they have trucks here. But, um, they don't seem to have electricity. I don't know. It's just maybe the trucks are some sort of ancient technology and they, like, harness the engines. Because we, as we all know, you know, ancient technology is infinitely superior to modern-day technology. Of course. JRPG, after all. Am I going the right way? Where am I going? I think I am going the right way. I hope I'm going the right way. I think I got turned around. Okay, yeah, I'm not going the right way. Yeah, I totally got turned around the wrong way after leaving that, um, truck area. 
So, yeah. Let's just keep on going down this way. And that should make us leave the castle, or at least, you know, that little circular part of the castle. Oh. Huh, so you guys think those trucks are junk? There's no other trucks in the whole game. I don't think that there are, at least. Oh. Oh. Yeah, fairy tales or JRPGs, but not this JRPG. Oh. Okay. Well, yeah. Uh, too bad we don't have the princess in our party this time. I mean, if we did, then we totally get to see the king. But, can we go ahead and rescue that cat? Find out next time, and let's play Wild Arms 2. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.